Well, it's kind of amazing. I mean, I'm seeing them with a fresh eye, as if I, you know, as if I'd never seen them before. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm kind of shocked to see also the intricacy of a kind of hidden grid work in the paintings. Um, and forms that would form depending on how much layering I did. Um, I just like the surprise element of it because I did not intentionally want to create a kind of form or image. I was just layering veils of color, one over the other. My favorite one is the very dark painting because it was closer to what motivated me to do this type of work, where I was influenced by Ed Reinhardt and his close value color. So when you get up close, at first you think you're looking at a black painting, and then you start to see the very subtle darker colors. So I'm very happy to see the work being shown together. Usually just one will be seen in a show, but to see a whole show of them, practically the whole show, is, is really quite wonderful for me to re-experience. Of course, it makes me remember my youth. <laughs> you know, I, could had, I had an eight-foot ladder, which I still have. I could, you know, sort of scuttle up the ladder. Uh, I could move the heavy paintings around. Um, I just enjoyed the physical, physical aspects of it. I think part of it was my basic color training. Uh, under uh, Joseph Albers' assistant, Cy Silman, we looked a lot of comp co at comp colors. I also like Seurat. I think his work is incredible. And the modern has some very wonderful Seurats. And it, it's a possibility, since I work there, I would walk around on the days when um, the public was not there. I enjoyed combining the circle and the grid or the thread, which implied linear as opposed to the circles. I think living in Japan kind of knocked the square out of me or the right edges, you know, the right corners. Um, for some reason, I came back feeling I wanted the works to be asymmetrical. And also I was influenced by the kind of color that they used in kabuki costumes. I usually carry around this little round circle. Uh, my father and I drove into northern Kentucky and he loved root beer. So we went to a root beer stand and when we were given our root beer, it was in a glass which had a giant red circle on the bottom. And I remember saying to my father, what is this? <laughs> what is this circle? And he said, because they segregate the, the silverware, glassware, dishware. And the red circle means that people of color use this. So sometimes I say to people, I've been frightened by a circle. Uh, but then I started seeing circles. I mean, the moon is circular, the earth is circular. Um, you know, it's kind of um, iconic. I still find it an exciting uh, shape to work with. <laughs>